Warning, this fucking video is not for kids. <laughs> Give me a beer, you fucking dog. Alright, this is Billy Bob Tanley here, people, and this is a request from Cubo Bob Tanley, and it was uploaded by Wave Web Surf, and Atlanta's video is Disturbing Images on Kids TV, What Was the Cubo Screen of Death? Okay, let's check it out. Yay. If you were a kid who grew up without cable television, you probably have some nostalgic feelings well, for Well, I grew up with cable There's a television. Watch network similar to PBS Kids, enjoyed by many in the Gen Z and Gen Alpha. I have had cable in years, though, after, after that, Gen Z, though. right? So when it came out that Cubo was shutting down back in 2021, kids Cubo. and adults alike tuned in to watch Cubo. its final broadcast. It was expected to be a wholesome send-off. However, a disturbing video has surfaced online oh, allegedly shit. showing this shutdown, and it can only be described as extremely disturbing. Oh, Cubo more disappears that bullshit, in a veil of huh? static, and the television feed is replaced by an ominous background with many of the network's uh, iconic cartoon bunch mascots. Bunch of hackers doing that shit again. A jarring message appears on screen, demanding money Money from the viewers or the network will die. As the clock in the okay, left hand corner ticks closer bullshit. to zero, characters' heads are systematically blown Whoa. off by shotgun blasts That's exposing blood up. and bone. And kids were watching that. Sick fucks. Amidst the violence, the message, this is your fault, displays to children around the country. This what shocking the? video took okay, the internet track by that storm motherfucker and opened down up and shoot the bizarre rabbit holes in Walk animation in prison history. or something, man. Get the lecture chair. for this? Was it a rogue Cubo employee? Was it a hack or some kind of strange social media experiment? Just a dumb fuck, wasting hacking skills. One of the darkest rabbit holes surrounding children. Could be uh, media, hacking the, the evil the people's networks down. and shit and, and so tracking them down. But no, notice, just doing I got some new glasses. Passes. On February 27th of 2021, a YouTube video is uploaded titled Cubo's Final Minutes on the Air. Cubo's it Final Minutes. It starts by depicting a person filming their television screen watching some routine Cubo content. I don't know anything about the screen Cubo. Goes black and is replaced by a group of well-known cartoon that characters that shit. are shown on the Cubo network. Along oh, with network, these characters, there's some scrolling text across the top that reads, I don't your recognize any of these characters people. need Maybe your Bob help. At 11.59 Eastern, From Cubo Rocky will Beach. cease operations unless $2,500 can be raised by viewers like you. That's Call a scumbag piece of shit that did that. And donate now. Alone, wow. this is strange, but not all too disturbing. It only starts to get freaky when you wait around a bit and realize that the characters displayed are getting their heads blown yeah, off by that's, shotgun that's shots. Gonna and mess like up a kid's shot. mind. One by one, each character is systematically executed on a children's that's hate. Hey, Once man, the timer that? ran out and all the characters were dead, an ominous message crawl appeared saying, Due to the negligence and selflessness of our viewers, Cubo wow. is forced to cease broadcasting your favorite program. Well, I don't remember this ever happening. 2021, of course. 27th, I wasn't watching we little kids cartoons in 2021. For both children and families alike since launching in 2006. He we may have expand our network in the coming decade. Because of this closure, it will not be happening. Uh, we at Cubo and EW Scripps Company expected better from our viewers and they have failed us. This is your fault. 2006 your fault. to 2021. Thanks for nothing. The alleged recording of the shutdown event was. Why haven't they tried to do this to actual the entire YouTube production for fucking the fans over? Attention due to its shocking nature. The prevailing thought at the time was, uh, how could a YouTube. network known for exuding such positivity and educational <clears throat> content throughout its lifespan end with something this heinous? I know People it's were baffled up. by this video. Many in the comments section of Splat Kids Upload even corroborated seeing what was shown in the recording. Yo, I was watching Cubo and then this showed up. I started panicking when I saw at the end it said this was my fault. I started crying so hard until my mom came in. Wow. My mom asked, what is going on? I didn't she know you could read. And she turned it off. A few days later, How I looked at the Cubo you? channel and then it was gone. Yeah, so you had these frenzied the commenters fuck? flooding into the channel shortly after the video was posted, basically co-signing Splat Kid's uh, interpretation of events here. It's what the your hell was fault, actually going on? 
To get to the bottom of this video, we first need to understand a bit about Cubo itself and the context surrounding its downfall. It shows the, the Cubo oh was God, was that the Veggie Tales? TV network back on September 9th of 2006 as a part of an initiative to make I'm educational know about them children's shows more available to the general public. It hosted a variety of shows aimed at a 5 to 14 year old audience, including yeah. Veggie Tales, Bob the Builder, and Inspector Gadget. Yeah, I, I recognize Inspector Gadget. Gadget. He's been way back, though. The Ferocious Beast. That's a true millennial classic right there. It was on what? Cubo. To metaphorically speak here, Cubo was like the clearance rack of old shows that were discarded by networks long ago. A lot of this so stuff shit. was dated programming that had been dropped, but for an entire generation of kids, especially from low income families that couldn't afford cable channels like Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon, I this remember is what some they grew Cartoon up with, Network and these characters meant a lot to them. Thanks to its free to watch nature, Cubo developed a modest following, but it never scaled well compared to its pay to watch and even free to watch competitors like PBS Kids. Well, the I channel was downsized know, over the years and was passed around in the corporate it's world. Messed up, though. Eventually, the rights rested solely with Ion Media. In September 2020, Ion was purchased by the EW Scripps Company. And not long after, plans were put into place to close Cubo down we're since Scripps' main room. interest in Ion was its content targeted towards Hand adults shaking such as its hyperbolic time content like Ion Mystery. There just wasn't a place for Cubo on free television anymore. As well, a result then, of the falling to relevance, it. it was announced by Scripps that Cubo uh, would be permanently shutting down on I'm February 28th of 2021 at 11.59 p.m. This date was later uh, revised and the sign-off was initiated the early, suck, on February 26th at 1119 p.m. Eastern, just before Shit. midnight. Whenever the Cubo shutdown was announced, the story actually went viral on the internet and there were many that expressed that they wanted well, to watch the attention. shutdown live from their televisions as like a sort of way to pay homage to the network but for it's your fault, enriching though. their childhoods. So, you had active Cubo viewers DVR and live recording their screens during the shutdown, and they oh, posted videos of the channel's final minutes on they air, recorded which it. is supposedly what the video on Splat Kids channel Where's is Where's it shut down at? Interestingly, though, when you dig a bit around there? YouTube, you can find other amateur recordings of Cubo's last moments, and these recordings paint quite the different picture when compared to Splat Kids' gruesome showcase. Oh, I see Yeah, these there. recordings show a rather predictable and normal uh, shutdown of the channel. Yeah, You're something was definitely down. fishy here. After you started to see different recordings of the Cubo shutdown popping up that conflicted with I've Splat never seen Kids anything version, like that. the integrity of his video was drawn into question. In the words of the great Internet AJ, it was truly more sus than a character from Among Us. It's sus, just difficult to imagine a world where something slang. this violent could be shown on a channel aimed at children. If what happened in Splat Kids' video was I real and Cubo really cartoons. did shut down in this way, the folks behind the network would have to face some serious repercussions for putting something up as graphic as this on a kids' channel. They We're didn't do it, though. They FCC hacked violations, it. fines, and possibly class action money. lawsuits. But curiously, one finds none of these punishments being levied at Scripps, Ion, or the folks okay, behind Judge. Cubo. Which of course begs the question, is this entire thing just an elaborate hoax? Let's get into the evidence. I don't know. There are several issues with the video itself that suggest an amateur That's prank messed up, may have been responsible for its creation. Shooting for their example, faces take off. grammatical errors, such as this one in the final message, which says selflessness when it clearly meant to say selfishness. <laughs> this wow. is a pretty funny error to make because these two words pretty much mean Some the exact dumb opposite hacked it somehow. On top of this, viewers were quick to recognize that the music that plays in the background of Splat kids video was actually the final bells theme from majora's mask whenever oh, the really? moon is about to like destroy the world that game kind of it's too hard man it would be fun if they put the fucking timer in there and shit and that's the song it played huh oh yeah i recognize that Majora's Mask has Frightened a rich history children, in the realm of creepypastas, and maybe the inclusion of this song was a creepypasta fan behind the this game is video creepy, wearing actually. his influences on his sleeve. Another thing that was pointed out by a YouTuber named Randy Lint is that the stills of the characters massacred by the firing squad are all readily available on Google as images wow. with transparent backgrounds, which makes I it see. easier for an amateur to just slap this together in an editing That's Pro. Not to mention that the message in the video claims that Cubo could be saved by a $2,500 donation. Like, the Shit. idea of this is just ridiculous. Why your face it's keep doing that? $2,500 to save an entire just television keep one network angle. from going out of business. <laughs> the amount requested just seems arbitrary. Another thing is that Splat Kid's video title claims it was recorded on February 27th. 
but that conflicts with the widely reported oh shutdown date of February Oh my god, too much, man. Some have reported a stream of Cubo was available as far out as the 28th when That's using creepy. Vizio TV. But this is not a Vizio TV. It's a cathode ray television from like 2004. That's also, ugly. just why is a CRT TV being used why to watch Cubo in 2021? For me personally, the CRT is a big tell that this person is up to some fuckery. It gives off some, to some ooh, epic creepy pops. Why is it black and white? Every copy of Mario 64 is personal. What's the point of that? Check out my analog horror CRT, guys. I'm so fucking scary. It just reeks of being a hoax. But if after yeah, all that, you still believe that this thing wasn't hoax. a hoax, you definitely won't after what I'm about to show you. Check uh -oh. it out. This is what happens when you call the number on screen that's asking you to donate. All right, guys. We're going to call the number that's on the hoax video or whatever. Oh, boy. Two four eight four three four five five zero eight number. What's gonna happen? Here we go. All right, <laughs> calling. Okay, microphone. I'll click it. Oh uh, no, don't. Rick Road. So you got Rick Road? It's a Rick Roll. It's That's Rick fucking Roll, stupid. <laughs> Yeah, so this thing was actually just one of the most elaborate Rick rolls in internet history. And they thought that was I mean, funny Bravo to do that. Splat kid, Jesus Christ. With all this, it's pretty obvious that the disturbing version of the network's final footage on YouTube was nothing more than a hoax made well, by still editing to together a creepy sequence and playing it through a CRT while recording the screen. You frightened those this kids, man. This capitalized off the sadness surrounding the Cuban shutdown crying. in a big way. Or that a brilliant kid, hoax know. orchestrated by Splat Kid. And speaking of Splat, who exactly is this person and what can we know. infer about their intentions behind this video? Unfortunately, Splat Kid's attention. YouTube account has only one upload, and that's the Cubo video. The channel well. is over five years old, but from what information exists, it seems that its entire subscriber base came from one video. Wow. Most likely, Splat Kid was Son just a disposable bitch. sock puppet account made years ago and was used as a host for this elaborate yeah, prank. Yeah. The only it's significant clue right. about Splat Kid came in the description box sometime after his video was released. I'm getting a lot of messages from Super Keegan 9100 <sighs> saying this is fake, Makes but it's mad. not. I don't have a desktop CPU or laptop or anything. I can't even edit good videos, so please leave me alone, Keegan, and please stop saying that. Why are you me alone? Super Keegan actually runs a YouTube poop channel that's been active for many years that focuses oh, wow. a lot on Cubo content. And this He's person is actually videos. an admin of the Cubo fan wiki. After the Cubo video went up, I don't Keegan care created about a blog entry warning viewers not to watch Splat Kid's creation. Attention, beware of the unsettling fake video about Anybody Cubo's watch shutdown. Cubo? If you see a creepy unsettling video uploaded by Splat Kid 802 Productions about Cubo shutdown, avoid it at all costs. Avoid it. features it. a lot of Cubo characters getting their heads torn off as well as yeah, Cubo telling viewers how ungrateful they are. This goes against everything Cubo stands for, not to mention it isn't Have really what happened. Have you even seen happened. the fucked up Cubo watching shut off most of people stations, getting their heads off fucking on the characters 26, on the show? and was replaced with grit. Kind of you were satisfied to see him get hit by a car or during an episode of Inspector Gadget on February 28th of 2021. Because of Keegan's long association with Cubo content, many speculated that he may have actually been the person behind Splat Kid's creation, and perhaps oh, inserted was. this edit message into Splat Kid's description as a way to funnel viewers to his main channel. However, this explanation just doesn't really jive with me, to be honest. When you well, consider Keegan's I guess Cubo it never, admin status since 2017, it was just a big hoax. you'll find that the person has been quite the steward in making sure that accurate content is placed on the wikia. This person is very much dedicated to well, the Wikia. Well, if it's so offensive, then how come you two never took it all down? sure that the contents in it are not fabricated or but made yeah, they'll up. Tag my I think channels. that Keegan was genuinely disappointed that someone would create such a disturbing hoax involving the beloved childhood network he or she was a fan of. And they did and it. Keegan's notice on the Wikia asking folks to avoid Splat Kid's video was simply an honest PSA to stop the spread of misinformation regarding yeah, the shutdown. Yeah, that's the I'm fairly it. certain that so. Splat Kid's description box is responding to this PSA. A few months ago, Randy Lint, the YouTuber I referenced earlier in the, the video, shows of his Cubo's documentation death. of the event, and he managed to reach out to Keegan and got the following take from them about Splat Kid. I would say that wow. I'm offended that he would be so careless as to make a fake video with all those characters, which, by the way, are from several shows Cubo has long lost the rights to. As what for the, the disturbing fuck? Cubo video itself, it appears that the internet has reached a dead end in regard to finding out who was behind its creation. They just never did find out exactly. Why it was made. 
But for most internet hoaxes like these, the answer tends to be the same. Not. People love a good mystery, and some like to create their own, either for the joy of going to yeah, great but lengths they to want to solve the damn mystery or to spark interest. Another thing I find worth noting is that around the time of this video being released, there was a trend going around on YouTube where people created fake piracy screens and other old school gaming what related hoaxes utilizing CRT TVs for Why added they doing this? They must Perhaps be a bored the person behind Black Kid was inspired by some of these videos. Videos. Regardless, I think it's safe to say that at the end of all of this, the Cubo shutdown video definitely served its purpose and cemented yeah. itself as another Traumatized interesting addition the to the world of internet hoaxes. But that, my friends, was the bizarre rabbit hole of the Cubo shutdown video that surfaced Brand on the Black Kid YouTube channel. Let me know what you guys thought about this video down below in the comment section, and of course, let I me know what you, what you want me to talk about next. Slap like on the video, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, so there you go, everyone. If y'all want to watch the original video, the link is in the description. Go check it out and shit. And I'm getting the fuck out of here, so yeah. My name is Billy Bob Tanley, and I approve this message.